Hey hi guys welcome to my channel Tasty Tech Harbor. This video we will know about the most important circuit of Powertronics that is variable AC to DC adapter. We all have studied electronics. You might have heard of rectifiers, bridge rectifiers, amplifiers etc. And let's see where are these things used. You can see these are used in home electronics. So please watch this entire video to know how Home electronic works when we input alternating current that's AC to an electronic appliance which works on DC. Let me show you a simple adapter which I use on daily basis to work on these electronic projects. Now let's get into the home box studio setup. As you can see on the screen a variable voltage DC adapter which has a range of 3 volts to 12 volts with 1 amp output. As you can see this has a different kinds and size of output pins and basically it's a multi-purpose adapter. This has a slide switch to select what voltage is required and there is a polarity changing switch as well. Let's remove the outer case and let's get into it and see what electronic it has and how it works. Now I see there is a PCB, it's a printed circuit board and a huge transformer. The transformer is a passive electronic component which transfers the energy from one side of the circuit to another side of circuit without electrical connection but through magnetic induction. Thanks to Michael Faraday, basically transformer is usually used to step down or step up. Transformer has two electrical coils, primary coil and a secondary coil. Primary side is usually connected to power input the socket as you can see in the diagram and the secondary coil is the side that is usually deliver which delivers the power as output as you can see from the diagram both the coils have no electrical contact but their winding is on the same magnetic iron called core and this is soft iron coming into the basics of the circuit it is a bridge rectifier it has four diodes which you can see on the screen the connection of the bridge rectifier is as shown and this device takes the AC output on the transformer and converts to DC voltage. This is done using the arrangement as shown and which makes the current to pass through the load in one direction only. The output of the rectifier is DC but the voltage is still varying in large amount. So the further processing of this uh, output need to be done. Hence you can see a capacitor in the circuit diagram. The capacitor smoothens the varying voltage output from the rectifier so that the load receives more or less constant voltage this is not sophisticated circuit it has few ripples in the output next we will see how different voltages are coming out from one transformer transformer output voltage is mainly based on windings in our scenario we need to step down the voltage so basically the logic is let's consider a primary coil has more windings than the secondary coil then the voltage output across the secondary will be less and vice versa hence in our case we are tapping the output at different number of copper winding turns to get different voltage output as you can see on the screen the different winding terminals are connected to the slider switch and the last terminal in the bottom is connected to the bridge to complete the circuit now let's learn the theory of polarity switching circuit this circuit is at the load end and the two terminals are connected to the switch in a way as shown on the diagram. When the switch is on one side as marked with a blue color, the output terminal on the top will be positive and the bottom will be negative. When the poles are switched to the other side, which is marked in pink, the top will be negative and the bottom terminal will be positive. Now you can see this this is a step down transformer primary connected to the power input and the secondary is tapped with different turn windings of the copper wire. You can see the four diodes used in the bridge rectifier for converting AC to DC.
these are the slider switch and a polarity switch. You can also see an electro electrolytic capacitor to smoothen the DC current. This is a very basic uh, AC to DC converter used in power electronics. So let's get the adapter back to its original state. I guess this was a very simple and easy to understand video. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.